Going to tell us more about New Year resolutions is Reverend Michael Asenso. He is the General Overseer at the Way Chapel in Tema and he's also the General Secretary of Tema Ministers Organization. Good morning, Reverend. Good morning. How are you doing? Uh, Grace is keeping us. Right, and uh, happy holidays to you. Same to you, my dear sister. Right. So, um, New Year's resolutions, how did it all come about? How did it start? Well, I can't easily say when it started, but because of the euphoria and the mindset that we are entering a new season, people kind of uh, get to a place of thinking that, yes, if we're entering a new year, I need to make a new year plans, new year ideas to achieve something new. I believe that this is the background from where it came from. Nothing specifically has changed. It's just on a physical aspect. It's just that we are moving into another day. The same day, sun will shine, rains will come. But on the spirit, from the spiritual aspect, a lot of things has changed. And psychologically, because of the euphoria about the new year, end mm. of the year, and all the noise, it's like, no, I need to get something new. Going. Why, why must we wait till the end of the year or the beginning of a new year? I mean, if you have certain vices or certain traits that you want to get rid of or certain things that you aspire to, why can't you pick any day of the year and say, okay, from today onwards, I'm going to do this or I'm not going to do this? Mm. Why wait for the beginning of a new year? That should be the normal way for every human being. At any point in time, you should be able to sit down to analyze your life, see where you are going, where you're coming from, see what has been important in your life. But most people tend to start the year because of the same noise, the fact that something new is coming. This is what I want to achieve. Okay, because it's a new uh, year, a we new want year. new things. That is the, that is right. the mindset. Right. But it should have been a normal practice for every individual. At a point in time, you should be able to sit down and analyze your life, get to know what you've been able to achieve, what is most important to you, where do you spend most of your time, and has it been so beneficial? So you sit down to calculate these things, then you'll be able to say, no, this day, this month, this is the way forward. Right. And then you set your plans in place, and there you go. Right. Now, I don't have any statistics to back this up, but... Um uh, from conversations with friends and family, I know that a lot of times, uh, a lot of the uh, the resolutions are not met. We are unable to achieve them about maybe a, a month or two down the, the new year. So is it necessary that we, every year, we keep making resolutions at all? Um, it's necessary. Um, thank God for the noise. Thank God for the euphoria. It kind of brings awareness to the individual that, yes, let me make some New Year yeah. resolutions to let achieve Let me make some, some changes to some my changes life. Some changes to my life. But then... But you ma you keep making these uh, pronouncements every year and you're unable to achieve them um, every year. So why why do you keep doing it? Is it just for the fun of it or because everybody's doing it? If you're, you're setting out certain goals or certain priorities, then you should meet them, shouldn't you? It, it's simply because most people set up unachievable um, goals for themselves. You could start from a very small way. You know which area of your life you want to change. Is it about your relationship? Is it about your job? Is it about your your education wise? What specifically do you want to change in your life? Is it about a character or a habit? And then you pick it from a small place. And it must always be connected to your purpose in life. It must be connected to your vision in life. Life is not for jokers, even though there is a, there is a time for comedy. Life is not for jokers. Everyone is here for a specific assignment. And so if you don't know that you are here for a purpose or you are supposed to make someone life better, including your own, then you live anyhow. But then if you consider in your life that this has not been good, this has not been beneficial to me, like I spend, if I spend most time in places that did not benefit me or the people around me, then there should be a necessity that I have to change. Mm. And bring up something i have to upgrade my life i have to bring my life to a certain status so that i don't become a beggar i don't depend on other people i have to make my life better that is what life is supposed to be as so we'll say that life is a product of personal adventure if you you will feel shy begging people uh, for things or you are leading a life that is not good a car you have a character or a habit that is not good you should be able to sit down and make analysis of your life then go for the best look at your strength consider your weakness but consider the your strength and 
emphasize on it, make it much better. And then your weakness, you bring God in to help you out. Right. So what kind of resolutions should we have? Should it be more towards um, financial, uh, religious, relationship-wise? What, ki what kind of resolutions would you advise? Um, from the things we even watched, people were making resolutions to get houses. And, husbands. Uh, hus husbands. Wives. And it's, it's not... Money. There are things that are not in your hands, especially if you're a woman and you say, and this coming year I want to marry, this is my resolution. Uh, it will be kind of difficult because... Why? Um, why? Because we don't have... This is much. what you want. This is what um, you feel you're lacking in your life. This is the change that you want to make in the coming year. So if you work towards it, why can't it be achievable? You work towards it, is it by preparing, by praying, but you, a woman oh. cannot. Mostly, uh, 95 Maybe percent in the of past women you, will you, not. You're not socializing a lot. So okay. this year, you socialize a lot to go to places where uh, you meet potential husbands and things like yeah, that. Yeah, that is good. Where you open up, that is building on your relationship, building on your social uh, capabilities. Yes, you open up, but it's in the hands of a man to say that I'm going to marry you or not. And so, but concerning the... So basically you're saying that they should be realistic. Realistic resolutions. Realistic. And that's why I said you consider your life. What do you want? Where do you want to go? What do you want to achieve? You know your vision in life. You might have an ambition, which is not a vision, but it is good to have an ambition. Others might be, might, might be moved because they are impressed by someone's life and they want to do this. Others, they feel like doing something, but most of the time, it should be a passion, something that is deeply connected to you, deep within you, and think, this is what I want to do. This is what I want to change. I have a character that is not good. It's a shame. I don't like this kind of habit. People talk about it. So you make a decision to change it and become a better person. Okay. And so depending on an individual, you can pick it from a relationship. I know people who want to uh, make a resolution on health-wise, mm -hmm. um, changing their diet. Others said, uh, I want to do a body exercise. They start the gym when the year begins. Uh, one week, two weeks, then they are slacking. Um, others want to make changes uh, based on their work, the type of work they are doing. But all in all, it must be connected to your purpose in life and your vision okay. of what you want to become. Mm. Must we um, back our resolutions up with our prayer? It, it, or is it just you just say it and work towards it? Or is it important to pray to back up your resolution? It depends on your religious background and beliefs. Mm. But Proverbs 21, 31 says that the horse and the chariot are prepared for battle, but victory is of the Lord. Lord. It is the Lord who gives us strength to become what we want to become. Many are the plans in a man's heart, but it is the Lord that bring us, brings it to pass. And so you can make your plans, set your strategies, write it down, think through, brainstorm. What is it that you want to do? Write every set down. And then once you write it down, if you are a Christian, you begin to pray into it so that God will give you the strength and the grace to bring it to pass. Remember, there are people that are always connected to your plans. So know which friend you want to connect with, who helps you to come up with. Know, have some people that will be able to bring you up to the place where you want, want to go. To if you have a friend, you tell my, my dear friend, this is what I want to achieve. So bring me to, to, my, to my toes. Bring me back to position when I'm not able to check it. And then so that they'll be able to uh, bring you in line okay. to help you focus and fulfill Mostly, and achieve those goals. Yes, it has to do with determination in a focused mind. Many people uh, engross themselves with a lot of things, a lot of things. One thing at a time, get it done, and then move to the next stage. Okay, now finally, Reverend, um, should you um, be unable to achieve your resolutions or your goals, um, maybe due to circumstances beyond your control, should you see yourself as a failure? Never. Failure, failure should not be part of the question or the thought. It has to do with planning again. Bible says seven times the righteous will fall. And that's seven why times every right. year we have resolutions, it, it, it even though you are unable to achieve. It shouldn't be like that. If it becomes uh, consistent, yeah. then you are. There's something wrong. Yes, there's something wrong with you. But there must be a change and celebrate the, the, the little change that you have. Begin to celebrate it. But it should be. It shouldn't be like someone who said, that I want to stop drinking after three months. He's not drank anything, and he go back and say, Well, today I want to celebrate with a glass of wine because I've not been able to drink for the whole oh, year. Yeah. And get yourself much yes, No in. way. Yeah. But make every effort. Make that determination and focus. And with God on your side. 
you'll be able to achieve good and glorious things and be a blessing to your generation because everyone is born on earth to be a blessing to bring up changes to cause people to enjoy and you when there are people looking up to you it will be great for them to see you go up high and then celebrate with right. you right and with god everything is possible all things are possible and, uh, my my own uh, resolution this year is to be punctual that so I'll, I'll be i'll, I'll take I, everywhere i'm late everywhere ah. <laughs> <laughs> i'm late all the time so that's my new year's resolution and I'll, I'll factor in everything that you've said today to help me achieve that goal right thank you very much for your time this morning Welcome. reverend michael Asenso is the general overseer at the way chapel in tema and also the general secretary of the tema ministers organization uh we'll take a, a breather now and we'll be back in just a few moments uh we have more here on new day